one for Cosmic Kid, five and a half, five to two inhibitor with Mike Lachance. That's the number eight horse. $7,500 the purse as we start the daily double with the 17-5 claimer. They're off Kentucky Wings is off stride at the start. Moving for the first turn, LeBon Lobel from the rail, direct fact. Now sprinting out and direct fact now clears the field as they move into the first turn. Down inside, LeBon Lobel is racing second and New Issue is now racing in third position. Followed by Tyler's Fashion, fourth at the rail. Cosmic Kid on the outside, fifth. Joji Skipper is away sixth early. Then on the outside, it's Inhibitor, who is racing in seventh. Pebbles Lomont, eighth toward the rail. Wits ends. Brad is next. Far behind is Kentucky Wings. The opening quarter in 28 and three-fifths seconds. Down the back stretch. Direct fact dictating the pace. Lamont Lobel continues to sit second. Three lengths back. Cosmic Kid now on the move on the outside, third. There goes Cosmic Kid. And following Cosmic Kid is Joe G. Skipper, second over. New Issue is unhurried, back racing fifth. Inhibitor gets into the outside flow. Kyler's Fashion's been shuffled back seventh. Then it's Wit Sends Brat, followed by Pebbles Lomont. They're at the half in 58 seconds flat. Direct Fact leads the way into the far turn. On the outside, Cosmic Kid right there to press the lead. LeBon Lobel's at a good trip so far and behind the leader. And Joe G. Skipper in good striking position, second over. Then far the back, it's a length and a half. Back to Inhibitor, who's only four and a half lengths off the lead now. And then it's Whitsend's Brat in the outer tier, followed by New Issue, who's now fading at the rail in Tyler's fashion. As the field comes to the top of the lane, it's still direct fact. Joe G. Skipper wide into the stretch. Three quarters in 127 and three. They're set down for the drive, direct fact, in front and driving. Joe G. Skipper coming down the center of the racetrack and then far the back, Inhibitor is now third. It's still direct fact, and on the outside, Joe G. Skipper, who takes the lead now as they come down to the finish. Then direct fact, and on the inside, Inhibitor, a late move from Tyler's Fashion. Well, we thought we had in the opener, but now what did we figure out here? Joe G. Skipper home in 156 and 1. Perhaps that first race was an aberration here. 156 and 1, pretty good time for 17.5 claimers. And we also learned, David, that Neil Glasser is doing pretty well here with the Meadowlands. The son of uh, prominent local horse owners, Evelyn and Arthur Glasser. His folks have given him the chance to drive some of their stock. He doesn't do too much wrong here. Works at a good second over trip. Comes wide at the three quarters. Might have taken that turn a little bit wide, but he gets his horse going. Last quarter in 28 and 3 on the teletimer and a win by two lengths and 156 and 1 for this eight-year-old horse by Laura Skipper. And driver Neil Glaser now has six wins in 32 starts at the meet and pays $1187 and $4 handling Joe G. Skipper tonight. Direct fact, $1485. Tyler's Fashion, $3. And the 3-7 second race exacta, 146.20.